Hey kids, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 6, Static Variables and Constants. Exercise number 1. We have a what do you think this program does. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. We have a print statement, number of videos. Looks like we are calling some variable videos and num videos. We're instantiating a new object from the video class called algorithms. Looks like it's taking two parameters. We have another print statement. Looks like we're calling this video variable again and num of videos method. We're instantiating another new object. This one's programming. It also takes two parameters. Then we're doing another print statement with this video num videos. Let's look at the video class. We have two variables, username and title. We have public static and num videos equals zero. Let's see what these words mean. Well, public, that just means we have access anywhere. These variables are private because they don't have outside of the class, but when we set methods public, they do. So this probably means it has access outside the class. Static, ooh. What does static mean? Well, when you declare a variable or method as static, it belongs to the class rather than a specific instance. Let's say we're making a database and we want to keep track of how many users are in it. That way, anytime an object is created, it changes the variable in the class, not the object. A poor way to think of this, kids, is this is kind of like a global variable for all of your subclasses. That means you only declare it once in the parent class. There is no super, no get, no set methods for this. Let's see if there's anything else to this code. We have our constructor video. It takes two parameters. And then it looks like it is updating these private instance variables. And now we're updating this variable num videos. What this looks like it does to me then is anytime somebody creates a new video object, it adds one to this num videos counter. It's a way to keep count of how many videos we have in our collection. That means I should get zero, one, and two to print off because we don't have any videos at the beginning. We have one after we add crash course. And then we have a second one after we add our TED Talks. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. Zero, one, two. Looks like I'm right. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is identifying what this static keyword is, what it does, and some uses we have for it. Static means we just create one instance as a variable across all of its subclasses. That means it doesn't belong to any particular subclass, but the class itself. In our example here, we saw a classic use of static, keeping track of how many items we add to our list. And you're probably starting to see why having something across all the subclasses you can change is pretty important. And when we want to do that, we use the static keyword. In this example, we're using it as a variable, but it can also be used as a method. I'm pretty sure the rest of this lesson is understanding more about this static variable and how we use it. Hopefully, kids, this video helped you identify what a static variable is and some possible uses for it. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.